Hey guys, after recreating Hearts on Fire by Elenium and showing you how to remake the Elenium guitar sound, I'm back with another Elenium video. And this time I'll be breaking down the production in Elenium's latest single, First Time, together with Ian Dior, who is known from his huge summer smash called Mood, together with 24K Golden. As always, you can download the FLP for free in the description below, so let's listen to a preview of my reconstruction and then let's get down to business. So the intro is quite basic in terms of instrumentation. I used three synth pads that all play the following chords. And in addition to these synths, I added my favorite free piano plugin, which is Lab Soft Piano, to play the same chords, and my go-to Reese bass in Silent One to play the bass notes. The processing on these sounds is quite straightforward as well. I used OTT to brighten up the pads, a camel crusher to add more body to the piano, and several filter automation clips to create this effect of the sound slowly opening up in the intro. So moving on to the guitars used throughout the song, there's quite a lot to discuss. So I used a finger-picked electric guitar from Contact's Electric Sunburst library to recreate the guitar sound in the verse, and added the following effects to get it closer to the original. An SSLG channel for brightness, a pro Q to remove unnecessary low end and low mid frequencies, a compressor for extra tightness, a wave stereo imager for more presence and stereo depth, and a reverb to get it to sound less dry. To remake the distorted mute electric guitar used in the second half of the verse, the pre-chorus and the chorus, I again used electric sunburst, but with different settings. So I chose the mood and plectrum options and used more aggressive built-in effects like Screamer. On top of that, I added some saturation using Decapitator, as well as some extra reverb. In the second half of the pre-chorus, the following guitar melody starts playing, which is the Take Me Higher pattern from the Picked Acoustic Guitar Library. You basically just play the chords in the piano roll, and then the library turns these into a melodic guitar rhythm, which is quite cool. I processed this guitar using a Decapitator for saturation and an EQ to make it sound cleaner. The next guitar I'd like to highlight is the strummed acoustic guitar in the outro. I used Contact's strummed acoustic 2 library and specifically the home again pattern, which is the one that sounded closest to the one used by Elenium. I then used Radiator to make it sound both warmer and brighter. To make the outro guitar sound fuller and more similar to the original, I added a finger-picked acoustic guitar playing the following melody. I then boosted its low mids for extra richness and its high end for brightness using Pro Q and Radiator. Played together, the outro guitar sounds like this. Moving on to the elements in the chorus, there are a few more guitars I would like to discuss. I used three different guitar layers, all made in electric sunburst, to play the following melodies. I only used Camel Crusher and OTT to make all three guitars sound more prominent in the mix and I also inserted a stereo imager to the first guitar to add some stereo depth. I then added two layers of super saws made in serum. I made both synths sound more plucky by decreasing their decay and sustain times and added OTT to their mixer channels to add brightness and presence. I also added these subtle guitar scratches played by the Picked Acoustic Guitar Library to add some movement, as well as a slightly compressed Scarby Rickenbacker bass guitar for more body, particularly in the low mids, and a sub bass made in Sublab. To make this one's low end sound more powerful, I added R bass by Waves. Then there are three more chorus instruments left to discuss, which together make up the lead sound. I used a very simple serum pad as a synth layer, followed by yet another Camel Crush electric guitar playing the lead melody in two octaves, and some strings with OTT to also play the lead melody over two octaves. I then routed all three to a lead bus where I added some aggression and presence using Decapitator, more body using Maserati GTI by Waves, some corrective EQ using Pro Q, and a reverb to make it sound less dry. Now this is what all instruments sound like when they are played together.
Some key elements I haven't discussed yet are the drums. There is a kick, multiple clap and snare layers, some closed hi-hats, open hi-hats, a ride, and the tom at the end of every second bar. Now given that these are all samples, there's not too much to say about the way they were created, but rather about the way they were modified to get them to sound as good as possible. So I tried to keep this process, which I refer to as drum mixing and processing, simple. I'm a big fan of great sound selection, which in turn typically requires less processing. Or in other words, if you need to process your sound a lot to make it sound good, this often means that the sound you picked or created isn't good enough. Now the only drum sample I process quite heavily is the kick. So it sounded very thin and soft without any mixing, which is why I added a Maserati GTI for more body, a radiator for more richness in both low end and high end, an R bass to enhance the low end even further, a DS10 to increase the kick's punch, and a compressor to add even more punch as well as tightness. Apart from that, I only applied very basic processing to most other drum sounds, such as EQ, compression, OTT, and DS10 drum shaper to control the sample's attack, sustain, and tightness. I then also used two buses to which I routed several drum channels. First I created a bus for the clap snare layers, which was meant to glue the various individual clap and snare sounds together. And to achieve this I used Camel Crusher, some smooth compression and a reverb with a short decay. The second bus I created is the general drum bus, to which I routed all drum channels. And the purpose of this bus is to enhance the drum's overall body and punch, for which I used Infected Mushroom Pusher by Waves, which is a great tool to increase your drum's presence and body in a mix. And I actually did something similar with my instruments and synths, which I routed to an instrument bus where I also inserted this pusher plugin for the same reasons. Finally, I'd like to discuss the two sidechain techniques I applied in this project. You might have spotted fruity limiters on many of the synths and instruments mixer channels I've discussed so far. Now these limiters serve for sidechain compression, and especially in the chorus I want every synth, instrument and bass sound playing at the same time as the kick to duck whenever the kick hits to create more room for the kick, which will additionally create a better flow and more energy. Now my favorite way to actualize this is by sidechaining my kick to any channel that needs to be sidechained, and then insert a limiter to the final mixer slot of that sound's mixer channel. In the limiter plugin, choose compression, right click sidechain to choose your sidechain input, in this case the kick, and then play with threshold, knee and release until you get the docking effect you desire. The other sidechain technique I applied is very similar to the one I just explained, except that we now only apply this ducking effect to a specific range of the frequency spectrum of the sound we want to sidechain, in this case our sub bass. Because both the kick and the sub bass are very prominent in terms of low end information, we want to prevent the two from clashing with one another in this low end field of the frequency spectrum. And that is why we're going to apply multiband sidechain compression, which will ensure that the low end of the sub, say the 0 to 500 hertz region, will disappear for a very short time whenever the kick is played. And that's everything I had to say. Let's now listen to my complete reconstruction of First Time by Elenium and Ian Dior. And if you received any takeaways from this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Take care and see you next time.